Stephanie here. I hope you are having a fantastic week and you're keeping safe. I am doing well. Um, if you ignore the homa but everything else is fine happy new month by the way it's nice to see you here and today we have another makeover it's been a while since we did one of this coolest thing about this particular makeover is that it's in partnership with color creators color creators is a company that supplies jotan paints locally and let me tell you i tried their paints during this makeover and wow yani i was i was very very impressed i'll tell you all about them um, later on you'll see the shop and where they're located and what you can find there I of course went to Gikomba because why not and then I also hit up Lawrence for some custom work as always I would like to mention that I did make a macrame seat uh, a macrame hanging chair but that was um, thanks to a video that I followed step by step it will be linked in the description box uh, because I am no macrame expert uh, this was actually my first time doing anything like this so and as always everything else that's used in this particular video is going to be linked below the names of all the colors that I use in this balcony are also going to be mentioned below and their contacts will be left in the description box as well as the pinned comment so let's get into the DIYs okay into the makeover let's go project left my bowels over here um, I got the electrician to come he came Saturday evening and I needed to get something up uh, a switch over here a socket rather for lights because I want to add some lighting out here I want to prep um, the edge the edge of this balcony because it has some cracks the paint has peeled off and all that um, I'm just going to show you how I prep surfaces that are peeled off or how to cover cracks in your walls and house um, to like at least get like a smooth finish with your paint job to just you want to spread it and then you can take the excess you see you're filling in this hole the cracked hole so we are going to dismantle this sofa bed Nick is here it's unstable so it's times like this you learn well guys the importance of using screws over nails because if this were screws it would take me probably 10 minutes to dismantle the whole thing because it's just just unwinding the screw so i'm using this really huge screwdriver and a hammer and nick's strong hands yeah. <laughs> okay. RIP sofa bed, you served us well. I'm laying out this grass, the artificial grass, and we like the way it looks. So we will look at Nick already. <laughs> so we will trim like the edges over here, add a bit of a square there, triangle then trim this part and then we'll trim this side and add a cut piece over here a nice short piece and then here another cut straight piece and then the entire area will be covered 
Joika. What do you think? So I am off. I'm going to see Lawrence. I'm going to pick up um, some thingies from him. Uh, I need. Um, we're coming up with a way to make the system that's going to hold up the seat. So I have to go. We draw it together and see how that's going to come together. Oh yeah, and then after that, I have to go pick up the paint and pick up the plants. Yes. yes, and then the rose. The, the rose. Yes, they complement the each other. Yeah. Yes, um, and then I had picked the wall color, which the is rain sky. the rain sky. And the tracks. Yes, as the lightest tone of the yes. three. Yes, those three work together. looks really good and the mixture is like completely mixed but here they have matte varnish so there's like maho you get a stain and you can get a finish that is matte or gloss and they have all those colors so they also have decorative paints so they have different types so this is called Stuco Antica and then we have this it's called diamonds diamonds a girl's best friend It's like it has so much shimmer and Glitter and you can get it in a lot of different colors This is also diamond Can you see that when the light hits it? There you go see So we have velvet Oh, this feels so good. If you have this one over here, which is, this is pearl. And then there's, so this they've done like a linen design. And then there's this like just the same way. It, it looks like the, the design that we have on velvet, but now this is with pearl. Do you guys know there's something called hygiene paint? Please tell me in the comment section. Hygiene paint. It's used in like kitchens and hospitals and such. Oh, they also have this tex textured paint. Remember what we did for Vivian? This is what we use and There's like the spread rate is a lot higher. You will use a lot less product for a lot more space So chances are if I had come here I would have been able to finish that wall the way I wanted to do it instead of doing like the Kakona Five thirty ish right now and I'm about to just get started on the painting. So I am wiping the wall mm. because it's um, this place is outside so it, it might have a bit of dust. So I'm going to just do the base over here. The edge and this means that I see the colour and also we can see how far it's going to spread. Ooh, I like that. Whoa, I don't think I hire. Look at how opaque that is. It's not a joke. I've done like this canini over here and I've started doing the edge and initial thoughts already are one. I'm like looking at it and I'm thinking I don't think I would need a second coat because with the first coat already like it's very opaque Look, because then that means like you can finish and move on. Hey! 
so I am hey, hey Nick in Hello. Jonah Wave. <laughs> so um, I'm continuing with the painting. We really, really like the color. Even Nick likes it. Sindo. I do. Yeah. It's very cool. Even Nick really likes the color that um, I picked. It's called Rain Sky. Uh, we're doing the painting, which once I finish doing all the edges, actually the most work is doing the ceiling because it has random pattern thing that goes on and then there's bits of it that are just the ceiling and then it has now the the covering and the pillars that's where the most work is after doing that i'll have enough time to now finish the the swinging chair and then now make the other outdoor chair Um, so I just finished painting and I love, oh my god, I love this color, like it's not white and then it also matches the, the gray which is the color of the outside of the building. So I'm going to drill up there, I want to have some hanging plants on both sides, so this side I'm going to have two and on this other side I'm going to have one and then we are going to make the holes for our swinging chair. So I have my lights up and I was worried that I, I would have needed an extra pack but they fit, they went all the way. The only space that doesn't have lights is that car corner that's like this which I don't care because that side will have two plants so they'll take up that space. So the next thing I want to do um, right now because I want to make sure I put the, the barrier thingy for the cats and then I put the grass and then that will be it for today so that tomorrow we can come put the hanging chair which as I say that's it for today I mean that's it for now because I'm going to go finish the macrame um, hanging swinging chair on this space so my intention is to cut it at this point so I'm going to attach it to this trimmers and then just use a zip tie to hold it down to paint this one and then leave them out to dry just we are sanding the table and I'm using a wet sandpaper to remove marks off the tile that's on top what can I see? so for the table I want to tape the top so that the paint doesn't get onto the nini, onto the tile. So just like this. Mm. So this is a very, very light pink. So it's a contrast to the other one, um, which was the whole idea. So this is the color. It's very, very nice. It's called petal pink. The other one. Oh, this is nice and light. It's not too thick. I don't think I need to thin this out. I'm going to use it as is. Um, Lawrence and I designed this. So this is what is going to be our bracket. That's what it looks like. So I bought this cut chain and then he he welded because it's called welding so he welded he welded this ring into it so this is where our cambas are going to be um, attached to and then this is going to attach spring Sama Kuchoka guy, um, my drills are not hammer drills, they are just kaida basic drills and they couldn't handle the job. So I called Lawrence and I asked him to come over and do the thing. So he came and he managed to do it but then now as he was doing it, there's um, cause these things are like pillars, like whatever they have, they usually have um, Chumas inside 
so we do and then some of them gongad a truma so we had to again rethink so we changed we moved it slightly forward so now i have to fill in those holes um that we had initially put together and then i will paint over them but for now our setup is ready how I built this seat uh, because one it was like a long process so it's going to be a video by itself and that video will be coming up next week so if you're interested on in how you can make yourself such a cute chair that video will be up next week and it will also have the planters that I made for the balcony the ones that I actually made so if you're interested in that please do join us next week for that video that I hope you liked it because I really 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 love how the balcony turned out the cats are loving it now I feel very safe and secure I can open the door and let the cats go outside by themselves before we wouldn't let them go outside by themselves because of the railing the railing was not guarded and now that it is um, they can go there as much as they want. They're enjoying it. They've already claimed the seat. Ginger and Joey are sharing it. Ziggy is still a bit, mm, but they really enjoy it. They enjoy the, the tough grass. So I love the way the place looks. It feels so cozy. And now even I can sit outside. I can't wait to show you how it looks at night. So if you want to see how the balcony looks at night, I'll definitely share a beautiful video of that. Thank you so much for taking your time and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And a huge thank you to Color Creators for partnering with me on this project. I'm really excited and I have a beautiful balcony and I'm grateful for that. So I will see you in the next video where we'll be building this seat. You see how it looks? It looks cute. I haven't painted it yet. I'm thinking of painting it instead of just leaving it wood. So you have to come and watch next week to see if I paint it and how I paint it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. Have yourself a lovely, lovely week. Bye. Yeah.